up, y'all? Welcome to another review by Ryan. Happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, July 13th. Uh, and I hope you all are having a great week wherever you're at in the world. In this reaction, we'll be reacting to the second episode of My Stepmom's Daughter Is My Ex, otherwise known as My Stepsister Is My Ex-Girlfriend. The title of this episode will be My Ex Needs Taking Care Of 38 Degrees Apparently. So, um, the first episode was actually better than I expected it was going to be for this show, but, um, you know, it screams a lot of Higahiro vibes, um, only, only differences in this case, the two main characters are much, obviously, closer to the same ages as each other, because they're both at the same school, so, um, that works out very well. Um, and it actually ended up being a really well put together episode, um, you know, we got to see Yume and Mizuto interact with each other, and as the title says... Um, back before they started going to high school together, they used to be romantically involved with each other, but due to what appears to be just regular things that every child and kid at that age goes through, they just kind of broke off due to fundamental differences that they had with each other. However, when these type of things happen, it's always a higher than normal probability that at some point in time, said people might end back up with each other, which is the case here with Yume and Mizuto because they have not actually completely gotten rid of feelings for each other. And every time they end up in very awkward, spicy situations, those feelings come rushing back, as is what happened at the end of the episode where we had the great tripping naked up on top of each other thing and my man Mizuto was about to lose it all so <laughs> he was about to throw it all away but of course the issue here is that their parents have married each other and because their parents have married each other but their parents also have no knowledge that these two were romantically involved in middle school prior to their marriage we are now in a situation where things are going to get very awkward very quickly and this girl Yume has not made that any easier because she pulled the brother complex thing while they were at school. So, um, my opinion is it's going to be trashy, but it actually might be a pretty well put together and wholesome show. And I'm hoping for, you know, obviously we're going to have a lot more crazy moments at school as everyone tries to figure out what the hell these two actually are to each other. But it, it's clear that they have a lot of investigating of themselves that they have to do too. And I am looking forward to watching this story come to life and seeing where we go from here. So, before we start the episode, uh, just two confirmations here. First, this is a 12 episode episode show. Uh, so yeah, this is 12 episodes and will air every Wednesday. And as far as our ratings are concerned, and as always, I'd like to thank Anime Corner for, and all of you who responded to the Anime Corner ratings, um, my stepmom's daughter is my ex, ended up in seventh position, um, the seventh position. So um, now this season, unlike the spring season, any show can buy for the top spot because we're, this is arguably not as strong of a season as the spring was. So as a result of that, and you'll see on this list, every show is like maybe a few points away from each other. No show really is pulling away from each other. And my stepmom's daughter is my ex has fallen right close to the, you know, the middle half, maybe a little closer to the bottom. Um, but it had a great showing. I'm actually surprised it did better than Classroom of the Elite's opening, uh, which Classroom of the Elite has been a very well anticipated show this season uh, as it's its first show. It's its first time in five years having a pre animated production. So, but yeah, my stepmom's daughter, my ex is doing pretty good. Um, seems so you guys liked my last reaction video, so thanks so much for watching. And we'll go ahead and we'll kick this episode off. So again, the title of the episode is "My Ex Needs Taking Care of." Get the headphones on, and let's get this episode started in three, two, one. Physical fitness test. Oh boy, this should be fun. Oh yeah, and the people who are trying to get with his sad sister. Good morning. <laughs> oh! And I'm sure that was a lie. How?
<laughs> yo, yo, shit. Yo. I don't know. Like, I don't know what they're going to do, though. Like, because they are clearly still deeply in love with each other, so I don't know. I love this song though. Oh boy. Bruh! Bruh! <laughs> me, not me. Can I have my chest back? Well, thank <laughs> It's okay. See, there's hope for you. Yeah, rubbing against them is not going to do that for you, though. Shoot, I love PT time. I mean, I won't stress around academics at the time. You suck, don't you? Oh, look at you. <laughs> ah! There is a difference. She's about to mess this all up.
Yeah, that could have been worse. Ashley used to do pretty damn good in these in these phys fitness tests, but that's probably because I was in relatively good shape too. Yeah, sit and reach. I used to do good there too. I miss doing these tests. I don't know if we had to do a standing long shot. Yeah, we also did not have to do handball throws. Yeah, we didn't do all this. We did do the dash, fifteen hundred meter, one mile. Yeah. I feel like my girl had a false start. <laughs> Man, she's out. Look at my look look at this legend over here. Look at this Chad right here. <laughs> Cause he was out here watching his girl, that's what was happening. Like fuck you think. So you start by staring at her boobs. I see. Classy choice. Damn, we have moved up to given names in the same day. Look at this. Guys, please note that if you start off by staring at a girl's boobs, this is not how you're going to be saying someone's first name in the same... Well, obviously we say first names here in the States, but this is not how to start off an introduction. You will probably be hit with harassment and go to jail. Don't do that. I mean, it looks so over everything. Ah! Yo, this girl might be the first one to figure it out. Tang, she really did overwork herself. <laughs> huh. 
He did pick this girl up like a cow. What in the world? Right from the scruff. My good friend. Dang, I'm just looking for a little spice here. I don't know how y'all making it through. Uh-oh. 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 Did she feel a threat? <laughs> what was that? Is she gonna... Me to me, she, she's starting to latch on a little too much. She gonna know too much too quickly. She can't leave. She can't leave this house alive. Let me stop. <laughs> oh, man. I like me to me, though. She's cool. Why does my man look so over everything? <laughs> <laughs>
Ah, sí, sí. Yo, she knows too much! <laughs> she knows too much. <clears throat> anyone can just, anyone like her can just look at two people and be like, damn. Oh. Oh. That is not what she meant. I have no idea how y'all two are going to be able to move past this state. Damn, this is a problem. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? What? <laughs> she is enjoying this too much. I just heard they don't check temperatures by mouth like we do over here. <laughs> the whole evening. <laughs> Oh, you offered. <laughs> Yo, these two still love each other so much. It's ridiculous.
I have no idea what they're going to do, but they're going to have to actually hit this on the head sooner than later. Or this is just going to be one real spicy family. I love this song. I like this song, and Yumi is so adorable. Oh man, is that it? That's it. All right, so uh, a couple thoughts about this episode. So with this episode, we also had our um, introduction to Kawanami and um, Minami, uh, and they're both cool, uh, especially particularly Minami, and she, you know, both of them are very intuitive, so I'm sure they were already starting to have these red flags go off really quickly, especially with Minami no. Now, do I believe that she's going to have some type of romantic um, affection for uh, Mizuto? I think it's a little too soon to say right now, so we'll definitely see how that plays out. I think that was more of just messing around with the fact that she can clearly see there's something probably there's something else there than between just being siblings or step-siblings between Yume and Mizuto. But regardless, this is a really nice episode. And, you know, you, you see these scenes of Yume and Mizuto together. And if anything, it's just really upsetting to know that because they are family now, that me trying to unconditionally support them rekindling their lost love it's hard for me to do because their parents are remarried. But, you know, I said this last episode, and I'll say this again this episode, this is a different set of circumstances than what is happening in something like uh, a couple of cuckoos with Sachi and Nagi and the fact that they will raise their whole lives um, compared to them, which they just re-entered each other's life and they're already in high school and everything. So if, if they were to rekindle their love and they had to address this matter with their parents, it would be a whole hell of a lot more understandable than if, you know, something like Sachi ends up really falling for Nagi and all that craziness. Because that's something I just can't get behind. But in this situation here, in this show, it could happen. And I'm just interested to see how the story is going to play it. And right now, it's a little too soon to say how they're going to go about these things as we watch these two people who are clearly still heads over heel for each other um, figure out their love. And it's, it's going to be very interesting. So, so yeah, this was a really, really good episode. Um, I think that this is going to be a really, this is going to be a good watch. You know, is it going to be a 9 or a 10 for me? Doubtful, but it's going to be a good watch. And, you know, I, I definitely can say right now I'm sitting at maybe a 7.5 to an 8. And hopefully this is where we're right throughout most of the season. So we'll definitely see how things play out with those two and how it plays out with our other cast of characters as we have more people introduced. And uh, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and enjoyed the reaction. If you did like both, please consider liking and subscribing to the video and the channel. If you're going to be one of the first to be notified when a new reaction becomes available, hit the bell icon. So with that said, I'll catch you guys next week for episode three, the title of which has not been announced yet, but this is also a show that airs on Wednesdays, the same day as Maiden Abyss, so you can always expect this reaction to drop shortly after the Maiden Abyss one does. So, until next week's episode, catch you guys later.